Hey everybody, it's Premiere Gal here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to sync audio in Premiere Pro. Right now I'm recording my audio separately on this USB condenser microphone, and I want to sync it with the picture that I'm recording. And right now on my Canon EOS M3, I'm just recording with the built-in mic on the camera, which is not great audio. So I'm going to show you how to sync the audio together, delete the audio track from the camera, so that way we're just showcasing the nice sound from this external microphone. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here in Premiere Pro, if I double click on a video clip from the project panel and play it back from the source panel, you will hear that the on-camera audio is quite poor. Hey you guys, it's Premiere Gal here and I am going to be recording a... Now let's double click on the SL600 USB condenser mic audio and play it back in the source panel. Hey you guys, it's Premiere Gal here and I am going to be recording a... You can definitely hear the difference. So let's get to syncing. I'm going to show you three ways to sync your audio. The first method is called merging. In your project panel, select both the audio clip and the video clip you want to sync together. Then right click on the clips and select merge clips. Make sure that the circle next to audio is filled in. Then hit OK. It will then process the clips and create a new merged clip in your project panel. And now if we double click on the merge clip and open it up in the source panel, now when we play it back, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to sync audio in Premiere Pro. Then you can right click on the merge clip and select new sequence from clip and then start editing. The second method is called synchronize. First, drag and drop the audio and video clips into a new sequence and make them relatively aligned as best as you can. Then highlight all the clips using a rectangular marquee, then right click and select synchronize. After it's done processing, when you play it back, you will see that they are now synced. A mic, so obviously I don't wanna use that mic because it's poor quality. And the last method is called manual syncing. This is syncing using the waveforms in the timeline. I have the video footage as well as the on-camera soundtrack in the timeline, as well as the USB condenser mic audio in the timeline underneath. And then I'm going to play it and you will see that it's not in sync. Hey you guys, it's Premier Gal here and I am- Hey you guys, it's Premier Gal here. To get a closer look, let's zoom in on the timeline and expand the audio layers so we can see the audio waveforms. If you do not see the waveform, go to the wrench icon and make sure that there's a check mark next to show audio waveform. So in this video, I did not use a clapper, which I should have done. What a clapper does is create a nice clap sound, a sync marker that you can use to easily align the two waveforms from the two audio tracks. But I'm just gonna go by the visual of the shapes of the waveforms. So you can see in the timeline here that the first waveforms where I'm saying, Hey you guys, it's Premier Gal here. You can see that the shapes are similar. So I'm just going to move the USB condenser audio over to align it with the waveform of the on-camera sound. Since we need to get more exact, I'm going to shift the audio frame over frame by frame. To do this, you need to hold the Alt Option key and then you can hit the comma key to move it to the left. And if you wanna move it to the right, you can hit the period key or as some of you call, full stop. And once you get it aligned, now if we play it back, you can now see that it's synced. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Premier Gal here. So I hope that you guys found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I make new video production tutorials every week. So I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.